I traveled all the way to Beverly Hills, California to meet with a celebrity nail guru, Naja, to talk about the part of our bodies, gentlemen, that most of us ignore, but a lot of women do not. So pay attention. All right, Naja. Thank you so much for helping me out with this because I wanted to do this video for a long time. I love to serve. Um, and uh, when it comes to nails, I came to the right place. I know that because you are a celebrity uh, nail uh, guru. Mm -hmm. You hold a Guinness World Record. In nails, yes. And you are one of the stars on the reality TV show called LA Here yes. on WeTV TV mm -hmm. starting the fifth season this year, which yes. is a big deal. Congratulations. Thank you that. so much. I appreciate that. So now, please tell and educate all of us, okay. man, why such a girly thing as nails <laughs> that are very important to us, manly men. Okay. See, you're already starting out on the wrong foot saying that nails are a girly thing, right? Think about the word manicure. Manicure means you take care of the nails. You also manicure your lawn. So you actually perfect the lawn, the landscaping, right? Yes. So think about the word manicure. The word man is in it, M-A-N. Yes. So we can start there, yes. okay? Another thing is, a lot of times guys think, well, I don't need to get my nails done. No one's looking at my nails. We are. Ask any woman. I want you to go ask five women today. We look at your hands because your hands are what's going to caress us, what's going to touch us, what's going to do this. So we want your hands to be smooth and manicured and nice. You have to think about it that way, fellas. So you're telling me that there are women out there that will literally pass on a guy if they don't really appreciate his, well, they really the absence of taking care of his nails. Yes, I think the women will. I won't particularly because I do manicures and I know I can fix it. However, I do go through this process. You walk in, I look at your face. If you pass my face test, I go down to the shoes. If you pass the shoe test, then I look at the hands. And if the hands are all torn up, I'm like, oh, I got to work on that. But a lot of women can tell a lot by how you take care of your overall self, how your house is going to look, how your car is going to look, how your financial life looks based on your hands. Are they all chewed up? Is there skin everywhere? Is, you know, they have to be looking right. So what are the things that men do wrong and what are the things that they can do right as far as taking care of their nails? Because I mean, they, they, whenever I say, hey, let's go and get a manicure, they, they're thinking about, hey, let's, let's paint a paint, right? <laughs> But that's not really That's what it is. the problem. Yeah, you brought up a good point. Men will think, let's go get a manicure, that you have to get long nails and get pink. No, what you want to think about is that you just want to groom your nails, just like you would groom your lawn, or the way you detail a car. That's what we should say. Mm -hmm. How men love detailing cars, right? They love their car to be perfect. So instead of saying manicure, say, why don't we go get a tune up on our hands? Yeah. That would okay. work, right? Yeah. Because that's what you want to look at it. Just like detailing a car, you're detailing your fingers, your digits, your things that are going to touch women, touch them, right? That's a good point. Now, I, when I go to get my manicure, a lot of times it's mainly women. I'm like the only guy there. And so it's a little intimidating. So I thought men would like that. That's true, <laughs> but it is a little intimidating. Yeah, it is. It is. So, what, is, is there a specific nail salons that you would recommend men go to? Is there you know, nail salons specifically for, for men? And if they do go to like a generic nail salon for women, what do they ask for? Okay, so here's a couple of things. In major cities now popping up all over the place, there are places specifically for men's, men's grooming, whether it's barbering or just nails. But there's plenty of places in New York and LA and uh, Florida that I know of, manicure place for men. They have boxing rings and everything in there. So men will feel happy there. They serve whiskey, cognac, all that. If you're not in a place like that, I have two suggestions. One, if you have a girlfriend, she would love to give you a manicure. Make it like a romantic kind of date thing. Say, hey baby, can you give me a manicure? I'd love to, can you file my nails, can you do this? Make it a sexy, flirty kind of thing. Women would be happy that you even care. And it could be a kind of a sexual thing. You can build up suspense and then you already know you're gonna get the girl at the end because it's your girlfriend. <laughs> so really you don't really need to leave the house to get it done. That's an interesting point. And if you're going to go, I'm very creative. You gotta, yeah. if you wanna keep yeah. a long distance relationship, you gotta keep it creative. So uh, the other thing is if you are going to go to a salon, what you say is I just want a men's manicure. Now the important thing to know so you don't get intimidated and get sold into all of this kind of stuff is you make a decision before you go in there whether you want a buff shine or natural. That's the most important thing. What does it mean? Well, I'm going to tell you. Men 
can either get a buff shine, which they use a little product that makes it look shiny. It's not actually nail polish, or you just keep it natural. And it depends on your style, your personal style, and also depends on the health of your own nails. Sometimes your nails are so unhealthy that just to get a little shine makes it look to the level of neutral. I would say for most of the men watching your video that they should just go with a natural look and say no to the buff. Certain men can get the buff, but they would be very high profile people and they have to have a little bit more of a pizzazz. And even though you're Mr. Dapper and have pizzazz, I still don't think that you would look that great with the shine. Yeah, and I kind of agree. Yeah. So to a certain type of person, <laughs> so say no to the buff. <laughs> when you do, and most women look at men's nails, what does that tell them about the men? What are the positive things? What are the negative things? What do nails even look like when they are either unacceptable or very much attractive? Right. Can you walk us through it yeah. and see what, are the diff what is the difference mm -hmm. at all? Yes. Most men who've never got a manicure think that their nails look fine. They're like, who cares? Yeah. Once they actually get a manicure, then they're like, oh my God. And it's only a little bit of details, like the devil's in the details kind of thing. So if you look at a hand and you see they're chewed, they're uneven, their skin, there's hangnails, it's just super, super dry. Then it kind of makes me think, hmm, they might not look at every little detail. How's their financial life? How is their car? How is their business life? How are their relationships? So you can really tell a lot about the hands. Now, if, if they're in impeccable shape, you're like, hmm, that's a person that takes care of himself. But it can be that they are, you know, going Fancy. all the way crazy, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, interesting, all right, so. Let's look at your hands. Yeah. See well, what we I got here. Say, and I haven't taken care of them for. He needs this video more than you. Yeah. <laughs> No, these right here, this is the good thing about me. Yeah. I would look and say that these are about six and a half, seven. However, you have the potential to make them a 10. A little bit of nausea TLC and they'll be a 10. I can't, get my, I can't believe my nails just got rated. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. rate everything. <laughs> so why don't, we, why don't we look at them and okay. see what are the good things that I got going on and what are the things I really need to fix? Okay, good things are that you have you know, nice manly hands. They look strong and there's a little element of soft smoothness to them too. Yeah, so I'm excited. Um, now the nails themselves, they are completely uneven as if he kind of, you know, crawled here and some of them got even, some of them got on the cement, some of them didn't. LA so, traffic is tough. Yeah. So they need to be a little bit more smooth. And then all around your nail plate, the actual nail mm -hmm. is skin mm -hmm. and it's dried, it's cracked, and it's just not sightly. It almost it looks exactly like either an undetailed car, mm -hmm. right? A car that has a little dirt on it. Mm -hmm. And when you polish it up, it'll look nice. Or a lawn that's all askew. All you have to do, actually, I can give a tip to men. Say you didn't want to go to a salon and get a manicure. You don't have a girlfriend or she doesn't want to do that. What you can do right now for that hand right there is you can just slightly file them and then put on any type of oil. And it doesn't necessarily have to be cuticle oil. If you can get cuticle oil, that's fine, but you can go into your kitchen. If you're not a super bachelor and you have a few kitchen supplies there, olive oil would be fine. You put a little olive oil and you completely rub it in with mm -hmm. some gusto and it would get rid of a lot of that dead looking skin. And that's a tip that I would give to any man leaving the house, whether they just got a manicure, will never get a manicure, or are in between manicures. You must have oil that you put on your nails. It will change everything. It'll make it look beautiful. So you can get cuticle oil or you can use this oil that's in your house. And there are YouTube videos also okay. that will actually teach you how to do your own nails, at least to the point where you can leave the house exactly. and not get them rated at six, <laughs> right? Okay. All right. So, okay. So we've covered how to take care of the nails and where to go, uh, even though I think a lot of men still would be kind of intimidated, but it is a pretty nice atmosphere because m most people here are women. Do you want me to stop the intimidation factor? Okay. Let's do it. Here it is. When I first started doing nails, the first two years, I only had male clients. I only did male clients because I didn't know how to polish nails or do anything for women's mm -hmm. services. What I noticed is once men come, they have to get over that intimidation. Once they come, they love the manicure, the pedicure, because here's what it really is, fellas. It's called a scrub and a rub. You have to go through like getting the nails filed and all that stuff, but then you get a really relaxing massage from a really friendly woman. Who wouldn't want that? And also when you do 
pedicures as well. The, the men love pedicures, yes. and they're really scared to get that, but the pedicure is phenomenal. I have to say, I enjoy that more than manicures. Most men know. do. Yeah, a lot of times if I'm going to do ma a manicure, if I'm already at the beauty salon, yeah. I'm going to get the whole mm -hmm. thing down, might as well, right? Mm -hmm. Once you're here, you're here. Though, a lot of times, I do have to say it, a lot of times I'll be sitting there and a bunch of really buff guys come over yeah. and, and just take their shoes off and, you well, know, it's an yeah, it's an important thing to mention that when guys think it's extra girly, sports stars aren't going out and businessmen aren't going out promoting that they get manicures, but almost all of your sports star, you know, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, all the football players, they all get manicures because they have to take care of their hands and feet. Because if you think about it, your sports stars that you love, the hands and the feet are what is making them money and what is entertaining you, shooting the basketball, playing this. So, and businessmen are always getting manicures because they have to shake people's hands. So it's a part of grooming as being a human. If you're a human and you have fingers and skin, you take care of them. It's not a girl or guy kind of thing. And I think that's what I, a lot of times I struggle with, to communicate to guys that, you know, you have to take care of everything. The whole package. Exactly. How can you be the whole package without a manicure? Exactly. You can have the car, the job, the money, the girls, the confidence, and then your hands are torn up. You're still not the whole package. I'll give you an eight, not a six. <laughs> Keep get, getting rated. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, so, but, but, you know, seriously, you know, in all seriousness, th this is a lot of times guys come up to me and say, oh, you know, help me, help me, you know, dress myself or help me do this or, or, or pick the hairstyle, right? And you go, like, well, you got to do this, this, and this. And they go, oh, no, well, that's too, that's too hard. There's a lot of steps to, to be a fully formed, fashionable human being, it, men or women. Yeah, it does take time, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's that much time where it's, it's not worth it. I think it's worth it because the results, I have to say, these are the same guys. You know, recommend something they do. They come back and say, "Oh my God, this girl talked to me. She never see? talks to me." Or, or I got a compliment mm -hmm. here, and I say, "See," but the next day I see them, and I go like, "Well, what happened to this whole thing?" And yeah. I go, oh, "You know, I didn't have time." It's all about the routine. Yeah. You know, women women can figure out how to put their makeup on in six minutes flat. You just have to get into the routine. Yeah. But if they, if they think about it, just like how you would think about it with a car it takes time to keep it clean, to keep it washed, to keep up the car payments. Da -da -da -da. But men are like they really care for their car like it's a baby, right? Yeah. You do the same thing for your hands and your body. We are on the same page there. <laughs> All right, well, listen, thank you so much for taking your time. I think we have hopefully convinced some people. I, I got a lot of work to do, obviously, to get to a 10. I have, I think, four points to no, catch No, 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 I, I, I can really look and say this, this is going to get to a 10 very quickly. Okay. All right. Now, maybe we can give them some incentive. It might be a little bit risky, mm -hmm. and we'll see if it'll work or not, okay? I'm, I'm so, if mm -hmm. you go and get hand jobs, maybe it'll give you... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, okay, I was going to say, get hand jobs, you'll get more hand jobs. Okay, we'll see. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, a true statement in itself. <laughs> let's uh, keep it. You know, let's, I, I want this video to stay in okay, YouTube. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I'm so, saying. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> that was it? Oh, okay. you, want, you don't want me to say it, do you? No, no, just say it without them giggling at home and not paying attention or <laughs> anything else that you have to say after that. Should I say the hand job part or no? You're saying not to say that. Don't say it. No, no, I might as well. I just go ahead and say okay. it. I just, I, I just have to laugh at it because oh, yeah, of the course. Beavis and me had to. The Beavis? <laughs> the Beavis and me had to. Had okay, to so yeah, well, I'll, okay, we can end here and I'll say a little thing that might be risky but might not. It's, it's male humor, you know, I'm like yeah. a fourth grade boy yeah, inside. Yeah. So, gentlemen, when you think about going to get your hands done and touching a woman, think about, oh, if I go and get a hand job, you know, get your nails done, maybe it'll result in you getting more hand jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta speak to your audience. That I'm speaking true. to men. Cars, tune ups, hand jobs. What more do you want out of life? <laughs> I can't believe we got this <laughs> sophisticated uh, video down in the gutter, but I think that's actually I it's think not that's the, right, the right, way, uh, right way to approach it. It's an incentive. The audience. Yeah. I, all right, well, listen, thank you so much. Thank for you. Rest. I hope we we'll do a few more of these, but, but, Me but too. let's get them going, see where they're at. And you guys, please don't forget to post comments about your experiences. Yes, I want to see your nails. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>